Okay, another in the series of things that I miss. This one I miss is Lion Country Safari in Irvine, California. They had a great sign, no trespassing, violators will be eaten. Lion Country Safari. Here's a uh, alleged map of the uh, area. Uh, this was a great place to go. I loved it. Uh, it was a adventure park where you drive through. The animals were all free and you were locked inside your car. Here's the track that you would go on. Here are the rules you had to follow. Stay in the car while driving. The animals were all outside. Could climb on your car such as this. Uh, and first you needed a ticket to get in. The tickets were inexpensive. The park opened apparently in 1970 and I went there first in 1980 but apparently it closed down around 1984. So I was only able to go there maybe three or four times before it closed. So once you had your uh, ticket and you signed your consent to uh, protect yourself and give you the rules and uh, if you can see the rules on here are have to stay in your car under no circumstances could you get out pets were not allowed children had to be between adults do not roll down your windows etc so no trespassing violators will be eaten this says, I love this sign as you drive up you could see that and uh, the giant huge elephant tusks for uh, the entryway, here was the uh, entryway to the park, uh, which again closed in 1984. Unfortunately, I could, again, I love the place. Here's the brochure from Lion Country Safari. Here's some early black and white photographs, probably from the 70s. Uh, lions and tigers climbing on the cars. Uh, playing around with the cars. Here's another brochure from a different visit and uh, tigers around the cars, lions around the cars. Uh, stay in your car, keep the windows up and uh, look at this, uh, rhinoceros it could easily tip that car over, puncture the windows, puncture the door. But um, for some reason I felt safe when I was in there. And I don't know, it was a false sense of security, obviously. Uh, here's lions crawling all over a VW bug. Look at these rhinos. I mean, they could take that little tin can car and uh, turn it into a smushed piece of metal with you inside. But I don't think it ever happened. I'm not sure. Um, the lions were all over the cars running around. Look at, imagine driving down here with a pack of lions coming at you like that. Anyway, the lion country had also bears, apparently. I don't remember them at the present time, but they definitely had lions and safety uh, rules to follow. So uh, the ostriches were very curious and would peck at your window and try to open your doors. Here's again the Rhinoceros uh, easily completely destroy that tin can car and I believe it violators will be eaten uh, I don't know if anyone was ever eaten but anyway that was a definite possibility all the animals were free the uh, people were locked inside the car so thank you for your kind support here's the uh, staff of ET with yours truly. I appreciate all your kind support over the years, uh, especially from my previous patients. I graduated from medical school over 40 years ago, and here was the 40th class reunion. Uh, author of various textbooks, including this one, Management of Gunshot Wounds, this one, Medical Toxicology, Diagnosis and Treatment of Human Poisoning, and again, various uh, accolades and awards uh, that are pre presented here for your perusal. And again, uh, appreciate the support that went into uh, allowing me to get these awards. 
Now this is my uh, caricature. There's a little one in the right hand corner. Pre please press on my small caricature to enroll in the subscription to the channel.